Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to the first three episodes of Windbreaker. Yeah, so funny enough, with this show, um, I didn't really hear about this until I think after episode one or episode two officially aired. And I I was on Twitter and I talked about uh, a couple of things, but I was like, oh, okay, I was like, this looks good, interesting. Um, I did have a couple of people like, oh, hey, like, you know, you should watch it per se um, and such. And I was like, I don't know. Until episode three came out. And, um, well, no, we'll say from the first episode all the way up until episode three. Um, there's a couple of male sayers in here. <laughs> just, a, just a little smidge smidgen um that are in here that I have like big ass crushes on um so I was like you know what what the hell fuck it let's just do it I was like it, it's blue lock all over again you know but I feel like this is gonna be like this is gonna be what people wanted Tokyo Avengers to possibly be even more I don't know I'm like because I have I'm I, I, I want to watch Tokyo Avengers, but I've heard, you know, it was good in the beginning and then it got pff, real fast. And I was like, oh, okay. So that's just telling me I shouldn't waste my time on it. But who knows? Maybe one day when I'm really bored and I have nothing to watch and stuff, then maybe I'll probably watch it. But other than that, it's going to get started with the first episode in three, two, one, go. Okay, I was about to say, it's too damn quiet. Um. I mean, the level of detail, but yo, where are we going with this show? What's wrong with his eyes? He probably has pretty eyes. Mm. Okay. Black and white hair. Not bad at it. His voice is pretty. With you, not really. Oh, he has pretty eyes. Oh, y'all want to talk ish on his eyes? They're pretty.
Okay, I like the song. The song is giving me like hella haiku vibes, which good because your girl loves the shit out of that show. <laughs> not important. Hmm? Yeah, you! Who else is she talking about? Sure. I mean, hey, free meal, duh. Oh. What? She's just being nice. Damn, Hotterga. I mean, what's kind of hot though, but you know what I'm not hungry. Not really, it's very pretty. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, it's cute. My fucking hair, Jesus Christ. One, two, three. There we go. Some of it is still fucking stuck. There we go, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe Kotaha could just show you around. Because that's the smart thing to do, right? Mm hmm. 
but you know she is working right now so yeah Oh, you just so, you're a cute little softy. <laughs> True, you are right about that, but maybe you know everyone just secretly thinks right now as they met you, like, oh, not as bad as you think. <laughs> Oh, no, I got a bad feeling about this. Well, damn. You think you're just going to walk by? <laughs> right? I mean, no offense. It's kind of like a death wish vibe. <laughs> True.
Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Honestly, that should have not some teeth. <laughs> Because you care about her. God damn it. <gasps> no. Fuck. I, I mean, I would run if I were you guys. Right, and I mean, you got stabbed on the side, so you you out right now, baby. <laughs>
I mean, yeah, in a way they are. They protect the city. Yeah, you really need to go to the hospital. That is a really bad injury. Right. You could have literally just ignored it, ignored her, but... Damn, you see how red his fucking knuckles are? <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, he's a little cutie. Um, you feel bad for him, especially like with his past and everything and all this shit that he had to face up until now. But at the same time, you just know that he he's in the right place. He's going to have lasting friendships and relationships not only with the townspeople but of course this new you like set of gang members and shit like that but no this seems really good i mean the the fight choreograph like top tier very very good i mean i i lo like hmm. i think the last time i felt good around about a really good fighting anime probably was jjk because, I mean, JJK's fighting choreographs are really good, but sometimes um, they felt iffy to me. Uh, there's a couple episodes, but I, I still enjoyed it regardless and how they did certain things. But I do also love me a good hand-to-hand -hand combat. I feel like, you know, we've gone in the last couple of years where more of my Magical Girl shows do that-ish, and that is like a... We love that, but just seeing this go the toe to toe, like this boy beat the crap out of this dude three different times. He also kind of gives me, like, Hello Ryuji vibes. I mean, especially with the fact is of the turning your hair. You originally had, like, black hair, and you turned it a completely different color, which is, like, the quote-unquote delinquent phase and such of his life and stuff. But he he does it for, like, a really good reason in a way. I mean, if you haven't, like, it, it's been how many years since P5 has been out? 
and, and it's so it does baffle me that there are a lot of people who have not played B five or B five R. You know, play play Persona five R. Just saying. Um, but I can see how I'm like, yeah, I can see definitely. Um, Kotaha, like I feel like her say you, her voice. I felt like I've heard her voice before. Her the way she is and how she, um, not only her her introduction but the way she just looks her like personality and a couple of things kind of gives me no bar of vibes <laughs> hate to say that but it would be interesting if that is her say you and such but i don't think that is her i mean because like i clearly know the voice but no um but yeah, yeah, yeah this first episode was not that bad it was very very interesting especially with how the the first couple of minutes, the tightrope, him walking across it, and just his anxiety of all this ish that he's had to face up until now, and to the point that he feels like he is going to just snap or plummet to like a death for him and such, which is very interesting. I would like to see more on that, but you know, if we don't, that's okay. I'm not mad at it. Now, the four other guys who came in, hopefully... We do get episodes focusing on their ish and why they also join the group as well. Because, I, I mean, I would love to see that because it, I don't want it to be all just about Sakura, just, like, in his story and stuff. It's not only his story because, yeah, he is the main character, but it's other characters and their stories and their personal moments on why they came in. So, once again, hopefully we do get to see that in the next couple of weeks. But, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two and three, two, one, go. <laughs> What's wrong with you? A nice guy. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I look so good. You just wanted to be up early so that you can be ready. <laughs> Bye, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. 
are you okay? Dude, are you wearing the tag? You want some scissors or something, bro? Or a lighter? Nothing, Nicole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, I love his shirt. I'm not a purple girl, but my mom would definitely love it because, well, it's more of a light purple. My mom likes dark purple. Now, my thing is, this is just an all-boys school. I mean, is it co-ed? It seems like it's all guys. He, oh, dang. <laughs> he a little cutie, but I feel like he's not going to get far because he's clumsy. <laughs> Who knows? He might be a really good ass kicker when, you know, the time's to come to fight. That's what I want to know. <laughs> we just got to wait and see.
That's sweet. I mean, but he already ate. I mean, I still would have took one for the road, just in case later on. <laughs> that apple looks so good. I want apples. He's in high school! It's just them, you know, being appreciative, saying thank you. In a way, I mean, you did. Oh. Damn, dude. Well, about to kick your ass. Nothing like oh. <laughs> You okay? So cute, oh my god. And you still can.
Yeah, you're, you're clumsy, but you're really sweet. Yeah, if you hadn't have come, he would have got really, really hurt. Possibly even killed. Huh? You're asking all of that now. You're like one of those, but you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, like around the town. So pretty. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> well, there's one. <laughs> Nice graffiti art, you know. Huh? Are you two in the same class? Ah, oh, it's, it's destiny. <laughs> He's just like the cutest little fanboy. <laughs> right? This could be sort of like a really good relationship slash friendship. Who else is in your class? It depends on what it is. Oh, okay. Is there someone in there that does not like smile? Oh, well, someone who's upset? They don't like a rust and bitch face? Stretching. I don't think they're immediately gonna want to kick your behind, Sakura. Like, but make a good impression, though. You're literally like the new kid, so literally first impressions. We don't need everybody like trying to kick your ass in the second freaking episode.
the one tree. Oh, okay. The one on the back. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> You're really cute. Hmm? <laughs> really? So you're one of those. Okay. Oh, back up. You're not going to want to instantly fight him now, right? Oh. Thank God. This one right here. I mean, no, it's, it's good, in a way. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Who the fuck did that? Okay, who he? Who is he? He a tall mother. He a tall mother. I, I will say, I was not expecting that really soft, smooth voice to come out of someone so tall as fuck like that. But, hey, whatever, love Javel. I mean, okay, Sakura, he made a good first impression with everybody in his class, but deadass, at the same time, I would be looking at everybody a little sideways. I mean, yeah, you know, like, oh, hey, yeah, he was the one who held out yesterday. He was like, oh, yeah, claps all around. Yeah, let's go. But... There might be a little bit of guys who are not really circling into that. And then him saying, oh, yeah, I just want to be at the top. Of course, that's going to rub the wrong way to some guys. Be like, hold up. This dude is a sit show ass on the side. <laughs> like, you know when someone kind of really talks too much? Are they really talk major-ish? And you just want to shut them up? That's what dude was going to do to Sakura. Because, like... <laughs> He looked at him like, hold up. 
like, I'm not even going to say anything to this dude yet. I am going to throw this desk at him. Hopefully he gets hit. Oh, no, he didn't get hit. Okay, no, let me punch shit out of him. The equivalent of talk shit, get hit. So... <laughs> No, but no, 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 no. But no, it seems like maybe his first day is going to kind of go well. So, but yeah, good first impression, baby. Good first impression. I would just, you know, watch yourself. Don't travel anywhere by yourself. (laughs) I know that as I wouldn't. I mean, like, seriously, you, like, okay. Regardless of, like, whatever you're joining in and such, um, or you're just going home at the end of the day. Always watch your surroundings because you never know who or what could be lurking. You never know. So, yeah. Um, always have a weapon with you. Don't die. Yes. And be Because <laughs> you never know. Once again. Always be cautious. Boys. Girls. Men. Women. Mm-hmm. Safety. Yes. <laughs> but no, this is a good second episode. <laughs> I, I feel bad for like, um, the, okay, well, he's not really brown haired anymore. He's like a gold, his hair gives me like golden retriever vibes. Like him. He, he's such like the cutest little thing. But yeah, he is hella klutzy. And it's just like, yeah, how can someone who is super duper klutzy want to join a group such as this but I think you know not only with the fact that he also got saved and also really well he got saved and then he almost got like the shit rocked out of him um and learning about his backstory and seeing that someone saved him and that really inspired him to join I do hope that there is a moment or an episode with him that is like him him proving himself like I can be here just as much as all these mofos right here. Like, I can fight just as much as him. He's not, like, the, um, I would say as of right now, the greatest fighter because we haven't really seen him in action like that yet. He's good at really, you know, trying to avoid certain things. And then when it comes to the confrontation, he's really good at, like, holding someone very well. But my thing is I need you to pack a mother up and punch. Because soccer is over here, like, number one for me on kicking butt, besides those other four boys in, like, episode one. And then also this long-haired blue guy, blue hair, long hair guy like him. That's another story. Whoever he's voiced by. Psh, 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 psh. And then the fact is that you had to have him in this show. You had to have Gojo say, what, uh, I'm not even going to say Gojo anymore. You had to have Gray from Fru- uh, Fruits Basket. You had to have Gray from Fairy Tale up in this. Who else is in this? Because <laughs> he's already a one. Um, the, the other guy that I have a thing for, he, he's in the next episode. So when I see him or when I hear the voice. I'll know. But go to pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode three. All right. Final episode in three, two, one, go. Right. I mean, yeah, do we want the outsider to get killed? Yeah. 
he, he's cocky. He's cocky. And I didn't say that in episode one, but yes, he is. And I like that. This little grouse is so cute. <laughs> uh, 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 Suck it, stop. Bye, he needs Too late. You gotta turn it off. <laughs> He's a hottie. That's why. Yeah, you two. Kiss and make up.
that probably wouldn't end up with. Keep trying to say sorry. Yeah, just grab. Grab. There you go. Yeah. He's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, you can let go now. Wait, is that who I think it is voicing him? If that is him, that's two already. Oh my god. It's No. <laughs> nice hair. Yeah, you know, you gotta help out when, you know, people come in and, you know, fuck up the town. You gotta, you know, clean up. Duh. That's a good thing to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, because, like, yeah, who is Kotaho? What? Is she with? I mean. She doing the leader? I mean, I am mad at her. <laughs> Girl, high five! <laughs> Uh, okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> uh, unfortunately. Oh my god. <laughs> So, you know, you do something nice and you get free food. So, that's a win-win. Yes. What's up? Yeah, I mean, do you want to get, like, smacked? You want to get killed, bro? You can't say certain things. Like, you know, you're going to get in a fight. Uh, he's just asking for trouble. That's the only time these two just want to agree.
Just asking for it. Damn, that is messed up that, you know, on their side, if you lose, you are just automatically out. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Cause, so, does he have to also move? Or he can't disassociate with them anymore? Like, Jesus. True, yes. Yeah, can't really change that now. Well, I mean, you know, he has a really good green thumb. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but he did the cutie patootie. <laughs> Dead eyes. He's a cutie patootie. Okay. Um. 
<sighs> Omihara. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm, I, I'm officially watching this show, but like, I just actually seeing it in the episode, I can't. Oh, uh, oh, it's too much. Oh my god. And of course, he's playing on like a different team, just like he is in Bleach, and I can't like the love that I have for Omihara, like. I can't with him. No, but it was really good. Okay. I'm glad that he is meeting their leader in this next episode and such. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It does make me wonder because, like, he's just the super cutest little thing right now. But something tells me when it is time to just kick some ass, like, it's going to be good. Like, really, really good. <laughs> he's like, oh. Everything I fucking needed him for. But I love the fact that he loves to just plant just a really super good green thumb. Like, damn. I mean, I didn't think that I would like that in a guy, but you never really know. At the end of the day, it's both of their faults. <laughs> but moral of the story is, do not provoke someone. Once you provoke, once again, the talk shit, get hit. You know, you just you, you shut the fuck up. You don't say any ish. Even when somebody is pissing you the fuck off, like you you do like me. That's what I do. Anytime when I have a good, well, no. Anytime when I have a bad day at work, I'm instantly on social media and sometimes, like, I'll either go on, um, my other little social media -ish and I'll say some ish and stuff. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, um, but at the end of the day, both of them were at fault, but it was good that they both came together to literally save the middle school kid, but the fact is that he has to now, they all really have to report to the top, like... How is this gonna go tomorrow? I mean, well, really, not even tomorrow. Later on in the day, because yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm once again super stoked to see what the hell is gonna happen in these next couple of weeks. But no, damn good first three episodes. I mean, to like all three of them are really strong on their own. But if I had to say like which one is like my personal favorite besides this one, because you know we had that. Episode one, I mean, it really set the boundaries of what this show is really about. Um, I am, once again, still excited to see more fighting scenes and stuff and how that's going to go. I felt like we just, like, scratched the surface on how some of these fight scenes are going to be choreographed and such. I'm ready to see some good behind... I hope this ain't CJ. And, and as of now, three episodes in, I don't think it is. We're going to see some really good hand drawn like fist fights, and, and I'm all here for it. Like ish, I, I think this is gonna be a good thing to add to my my watch list, especially because like you know, <laughs> I can get really bitchy on certain days, so I might need this like on Thursdays. So even though I'm not at work, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the first three episodes of Windbreaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys later on in the day, of course. Because by the time this comes out, episode four should be out with Layback Camp. So, hopefully, I can get it out, like, tomorrow. ASAP or later on in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.